got a show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Seth Rogen. He's not down with the Jews. Well, he's a Jew, ain't he? Yeah, he's a Jew, but he ain't down with them Jews in Israel, from what it sounds like. You're talking about he ain't down with them. Yeah, he's leery of them. He's leery of the Jews in Israel. Yeah, he said them. But he's them, Jewish. Yeah, but he said them damn Jews in Israel, they lie a lot. Okay, so he's kind of like us, only we black. See, we leery of niggas. <laughs> yeah, he's an equivalent to us. We leery of niggas, he's leery of the Jews. <laughs> Hey. Which, you know, we got some expertise in this. We got some prowess. I'm black. I'm educated to talk about the Negro. <laughs> right? He's Jewish. He has some leeway when it comes with the Jews. Yeah, let's go to his video. I also think that as a Jewish person, like like, a Jew. I was fed a huge amount of lies about Israel Me my too. Entire, entire, entire life. life. You know? Yeah. They never tell you that. Oh, by the way, there were people there. They make it seem like it was just like they're sitting there. Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah. The doors open I, hours it, for it, the it, taking like it literally they forget to include the fact to every young jewish person basically like oh by the way there were people there. i'm afraid of jews <laughs> <laughs> i'm 100 percent afraid of jews oh, yeah. that's it <laughs> it'd be nice to live somewhere that was not a part of the christian apocalyptic uh, prophecy <laughs> it is also probably a good idea he's like maybe settle somewhere that you know, the christians don't think you all have to die in order for the, the yeah and then they they want us all to go <laughs> there they need a certain number they of need Jews. us to go there so we can die so yeah talk with but, them. but that could you imagine <laughs> living in israel would you ever go live in israel no it would be uh, <laughs> it would i'm that i'm that i'm the same way yeah hey, hey seth if there's any consolation i'm scared of niggas you scared of the jews i'm scared of negro <laughs> Hey, a lot of people don't know what he's talking about. They have no idea what he's talking about. They have no idea what he's talking about. Here's a map of that area that we call Israel today back in mm. 1947. What is this, National Geographic? Yeah, it's a uh, National Geographic. Look, map courtesy of National Geographic magazine, 1947. Yeah, this map was issued by National Geographic in 1947, one year before Nakba. There was no such thing called Israel. Mm, it was just called all Palestine. Huh? Yeah, so there was Arabs and Jews that lived there, but they were all... Like Palestinian, just like here in America. Yeah. You got blacks, whites, Muslims, Jews, Jews, <laughs> Negroes. <laughs> but we're all American. Yeah, it used to be called Palestine. We're referred to as Palestine. But you had Jewish there, Jews, Jews there. You had um, yeah. Muslims there. Yeah. But, but they were I, considered Palestinians, right? Yeah, we have a show on Rumble, right? And I got mm. this comment. And let me read the comment. What did he say? He said, Ed Hartswins, dude, don't comment on history of a region that you're not educated on. There's been Jews in that region since forever. Palestine isn't a real country. Well, now it's not a real country. <laughs> Used to be. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, Jews but, uh, lived there, but it wasn't it didn't belong to Jews. It belonged to Arabs and Jewish people. Yeah, there was all Palestinians. Here's a video of a Jew. Mm -hmm. It's black and white. He's talking about this phenomenon where Arabs and Jews we're living together in Palestine. Maybe it's just, just propaganda. It's a fake video. Man, Palestine's not a real country. <laughs> you say there's no such thing East as East and West Bank? No. East and West Bank was Palestine. I'm a Palestinian. From 21 until 48, I carried a Palestinian passport. There was no such thing in this area as Jews, and Arabs and Palestinians. There were Jews and Arabs. Yeah, who were Palestinian. Mm -hmm. So I could tell she's Jew. I could tell by that Jew nose she got. Yeah, I can see. I can tell that woman Jewish from a mile away. Yep, that woman's Jewish. Yeah, so I can tell by them facial features. Like when, like when you see a Negro. Well, he's definitely African. Look at them lips. Look at them lips and that big ass wide nose you got. <laughs> You know what? That's not. Uh, I'll take that back. You know, having a big wide nose is not. Um, what's what I'm looking for? It's not exclusive to black people. Yeah. That's not an attribute only held by black people. Yeah. Everybody can have a wide nose. Long black nose, king nose, sharp nose. Like I seen a white but man the other day. You got African lips. No, I saw a white man lips bigger than ours. Remember Mr. Tucker, a uh, uh, high school teacher? Yeah. White dude, lips bigger than mine. Didn't look right on a white dude. It looks fine, Kev. Man, that dude's lips are crazy on him. <laughs> His lips is fine, man. Look like he, what's some things they put in people's lips to make their lips bigger? Um, 
What do you call it? It didn't look natural. <laughs> Botox. Is it Botox? You don't put Botox in your lips. <laughs> well, how do you look like that? <laughs> well, how do you make your lips swell? They put fillers in there. Oh, fillers. Yeah, you look like yeah, you had Botox fillers. supposed to. <laughs> yeah. Put that in your lips. <laughs> You look crazy as hell. Yeah, he's the first white man I had full, that I saw full lips, you know? Anyway. Anyway. So when people hear Seth Rogen saying what he's saying, they really don't understand what he's saying. Yeah. yeah. They, they, they and put, a lot of people don't understand what's really going on. In yeah, they're fighting over Israel, former Israel, formerly known as Palestine. Yeah, they're fighting over land. Yeah. Not Jerusalem. just land. It's holy land. <laughs> Jerusalem, that's where Jesus was born. Yeah. He grew up there. Yeah. I think. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, I think that's his hometown. That's his hometown? Yeah. That's where he went to high school and everything, huh? <laughs> he was on the basketball team. Crossing up air. <laughs> in your face, nigga. <laughs> Just juking Jews. <laughs> hey, you can't catch me, Jew boy. <laughs> and then ducking on him. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> Take that, you damn Jew. <laughs> It's my country. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but anyway, um, yeah, we want to make this a lighthearted video. I don't really want to go into specifics. I I, I don't have I, I don't I don't have, don't get have either side. Yeah, yeah, I don't have a dog in this race. I mean, I think the conservative thing to do is to be on the side of the Jews. Oh, conservatives love them some Jews. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they they're fighting over. Well, if you, I mean, whole you know, look at it from a wholeheartedly perspective. If if you you conservative, you're pro Jewish. If you're um, yeah. pro-Palestine, you typically a Democrat. There's no in between. That's what's going. Yeah, that's it's what... kind of like being black. You typically they're ninety percent yeah. Democrat. Yeah, I don't know why it's like that. Yeah, I don't know why. Like, yeah. <clears throat> well, yeah. I mean, Hamas. That's just like an evil, evil organization. It's a terrorist organization. And what they did, they got this whole thing all blown up and heated up. Mm -hmm. What they did, like flying in on long hang gliders and doing what they did, that was like mm -hmm. horrible. Yeah, and I mean, but that now people that's they they think that land was stolen from them. Yeah, this didn't happen back in fifteen hundred like what we did to the Native Americans. We yeah, just, this shit happened in nineteen forty seven. A lot of these people. My mom was born. My mom was like what ten eleven years. Ago. This is like recent yeah. times. This is not. My mom was like fourteen years old when it was going down. Yeah, comparing this to what we did to the Indians, which was horrible in itself. Yeah, I mean it's it's like comparing apples to oranges because that happened in what fourteen fifteen hundred. This yeah. happened. Yeah, I think it my, happened. My like, mom was like yeah. a teenager when yeah, this place was called still called Palestine. But anyway, yeah. you think there's any truth to that? that Palestine wasn't a real country. What the hell did you see on the map? That's what I'm saying. I'm like, where is he getting this from? It's right there. It was National Geographic, and then you have a Jew talking about we there was Jews and Arabs there, and they considered themselves to be Palestinian. And she walked with a Palestinian passport. Yeah, because it's a that what was the name of the country. Yeah, I you mean, know, you could be buzz Muslim here in America. Yeah, and you have an American passport. Yeah, you could be Jewish in America. It's just and it you're going to have Arabs. an American passport. You know, it's but so now it's an Israeli passport and it's a Jewish state. You know what? This people don't teach history. People forget things. Like they said, Christopher Columbus f discovered America. Bullshit. <laughs> He founded the country. <laughs> well, he helped establish the country. Yeah. They said it was just a bunch of savages walking around here eating and killing each other. <laughs> I don't believe that. We, hey, it is true. We got a Columbus Day. That proves it. <laughs> Every year. Can we, but Columbus that fool was a great man. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga got lost and called these people Indians. He got lost, thought he was in India. <laughs> and we got a holiday after this. And they, they give him a holiday. Now, that's what I call white privilege. <laughs> Hey, we're going to continue this show on Rumble. Got yeah. our own show. Yeah, we're going to talk about Dana White and him, like, sucking off Bud Light. <laughs> and he's sucking off these... Uh, these yeah, I lost a lot of respect for him, man. Signing that deal? Yeah. Why would he do that? You know what? He's been compromised. No, no. No, they got just... pictures of that dude sucking off trainers. I know it. Uh, it's called being, um, it's called being an asshole. And just being all about the money. Yeah. That's you got to have problem. values. Yes, I mean, well, if you want to watch the episode, it's on uh, Rumble. <laughs> Link's in the description box. <laughs> hey, Dana White, if you're watching, you don't want to sign up uh, sign up at Rumble, you can suck it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.